everybody. Today I'm here to share with you a couple projects that I altered for I'm a guest designer for the month of May for uh, Sock Crafters and um, I wasn't able to record my um, project for last week so I'll be showing you two projects uh, but I did share photos of this um, and I had such a great time altering this uh, project. Let me see if I find the... I usually keep the original wrapping, but my craft area is a bit of a mess. So apparently I don't know where it's at. So um, this is the dress form um, shadow box. And I'll put the link down below to all of uh, Sock Crafters uh, websites and to, you know directly to this as well. And so this is what I came up with. I had been anxious to use, uh, I've only used it one other time, my Graphic 45 Portrait of a Lady. So I thought this would go really well with this. Uh, so what I did is I painted it. Uh, with the antique white around the edges, and then um, and then we'll, and then I I put it together, and she does have videos where she uh, will show you how to put uh, all these items together, and um, so these all come in separate. You know, these two shelves are separate. I mean, these three shelves, and then this spine, and then the front part. And then after I painted it and glued it, I started uh, putting the paper on. And so I knew that I wanted this one here on front. And I did put a little bit of uh, fried burlap, frayed, sorry, <laughs> not fried, frayed burlap um, distress ink around the edges just really lightly. And uh, as you can kind of see it right here. And then, uh, of course, I had already done the back. So before I glued it, I went ahead and put the, the paper on the dress form itself. So before I glued this part down, I glued these both. And then I, um, and then all I did was, you know, add different a uh, couple of different papers. Uh, I wanted the solid green one on the spine here. And then, um, and I wasn't sure really what I wanted to do. That I mean, I've been wanting to make some decor pieces for my craft space. And so, uh, I kind of want everything kind of, not really coordinating, but just like my style. So, uh, I had gotten this charm bracelet and I used the little charms off of it. So, these are a few of those little charms. This was from my stash as well. And this little frame I'd gotten from a swap from Brujita. Thank you, Brujita. So that came in handy. And then right here's a little globe with the Eiffel Tower in it. And then these are Prima Flowers. Put a doily back there. And a cameo. And a little crown. Another Prima Flower. And then here in the front, this really fit perfect because... I have had this in my stash for a long time, this applique, so I put it there, and then I wanted her to have a necklace, and so I had some leftover uh, bling from a Prima, um, they're from Prima, but it was for a, a mini album that I did, and then I went ahead and added it here, kind of like a belt, sort of, and then I just put this trim all on the edges here, this dainty trim and then just some flat back pearls so that's basically it nothing I mean I love the way it turned out and then my second project the one for this week and I just have one more other project to do which I'm already working on but this is for this week this oh sorry this is actually this 3d alarm clock shadow box 
So it's really easy to put together. This I really usually take a while. My projects I did this in one in one uh, evening. So I been wanting to use this paper also from I've had it hoarded for a while it was a six by six uh, Prima stationer's desk and um, but what I first did is I painted it all black and then I just paper pieced it wherever I need to put the paper before I glued this bottom part down there and then the inside here and then after I did the, the back part and then I put paper here as well. I didn't paint this, that way it would, wouldn't, um, I mean I painted it, I didn't put paper. Um, and then the feet as well. And then I didn't put uh, lace all the way down here, I didn't think it was necessary. Uh, but I had this trim from my stash and um, these flowers here are from uh, Archana's Secret Garden on Facebook and so are the flowers inside. Beautiful flowers. And then I had this char um, this Eiffel Tower charm in my stash that I had gotten from Michaels. And so I added there with these uh, Michaels, I mean Prima's um, Memory Hardware. I just couldn't think of the name. But I went ahead and added that there. I didn't want to do way too much on there, but just want it kind of simple. And then this piece here is a chipboard piece from the Archivist collection, so I went ahead and put that there. And then on the back, I just put some black braided trim, and then I put this um, metal piece and then after I put that I went ahead, I went over it with, with my finger with this and I I like the way it turned out I had gotten this from a, a mixed media kit that I received so that came in handy I like the way it turned out but this is very simple to do and I'll post a link to uh, both of these projects uh, where you can find these items over at Saw Crafters. And um, thank you again, Natisha, for having me on your as a guest designer this month. I've really enjoyed it. I have one more project to do, which I will be back to share with you next week. So I hope that you like what I came up with and you'll give it a try yourself. So uh, uh, please leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate if you haven't subscribed, please do so, and I will talk to you soon. Talk to you later. Bye.